Okay, I'm just uh, on the weed surfer. Uh, weed surfing on one of our contract farms. This uh, farm we took on um, last year has got very bad oats in it. Um, so we're having to deal with those. Uh, and you can see the level of oats in here really is unrogable, so the only way we can do it is with these weed surfers. Um, I've been using these for uh, quite a few years now. We did quite a lot of um, just experimental work on the farm to see um, at what point you had to cut the oats um, and to leave them in the field, um, you know, when the seed actually became viable. So knowing when you could actually leave the seed on the ground, uh, i.e. being cut by the weed surfer and then not to uh, germinate. And basically, you, when the oat plant starts to flower, you've got about a week to get in and cut them before the seeds then become viable. Uh, 10 days an absolute stretch, but um, once you get to 10 days, uh, there's no doubt that one or two of the seeds do become viable. But um, sending the seeds off to NIAB, um, we found that if we cut them within a week of flowering, uh, then they were not viable. And um, there's also quite a, so while I'm talking, there's quite a little thistles. I don't know if you can see them as well. We're cutting the tops of those as well before they flower. Um, but anyway, the uh, seeds that we had back that we cut, um, that we had tested by NIAB, uh, were not um, were not able to germinate if we cut them within a week of flowering. Um, it's certainly not uh, ideal. Um, sorry, just change up again. It's certainly not an ideal way of dealing with oats, but um, given this level of oats, uh, it's the only option we really have. Um, we would expect to come back in again and do cut the oats again because they then tiller out and the lower tillers sort of come up. Um, but then after that, twice, maybe possibly three times, depending on a very bad infestation. I just had some further thoughts on the weed surfing I just wanted to um, share with you. Um, the one thing that we found that you've got to be very careful of when uh, weed surfing is not to clip the tops off the ears of wheat. Um, when I first started doing it, I thought, well, actually, if we do just clip the tops of the wheat, then, you know, that's just really the tail corn that you'd probably clean out, um, you know, if you were cleaning your seed. But, uh, and that probably is the case. But um, what actually then happened in the years where we did in heavy infestation of oats to try and get all of them where we did clip uh, the tops of the wheat, um, we then found that we had quite a lot of bunt getting into um, the, the wheat ears later on and of course that can be uh, pretty much devastate your harvest. Uh, the level of bunts we had when we did was still low but it certainly flagged up that actually if you start damaging the, the um, ear of the wheat then you open it up to other diseases, uh, bruising it and cutting it and, um, and that, that then can lead to um, you know, contamination in the grain store and um, pretty much a disaster for your crop. Um, so that's one thing you have to be very wary of. And also, uh, when we're going in slightly earlier than this, before the wheat is out, maybe to do black grass or charlotte, also got to be quite careful of cutting too much the flag leaf off because, of course, that's where your yield comes from.